Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on set notations, Venn diagrams, trig, uh, an IGCSE additional mathematics type question, again sent to me or suggested to me by uh, one of my subscribers. And it says that sets A and B are such that the number of elements in set A is 11, the number of elements in set B is 13, and the number and A union B, which means the number of elements in A and B combined, is 18. It then says find uh, the number of elements in that's common to A and B, or if you like, A intersection B. Right, now, part B says, uh, sets you, the, the universal set, sets you, X and Y, are such that uh, you has got uh, theta values such that theta is greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to two pi. And set X has got theta values such that sine theta is negative 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.5 or minus a half. And set Y has got theta values such that uh, sec squared theta is equal to 4 over 3. Now, it then says, find in terms of pi the elements of the set X and Part 2 of section B says find in terms of pi the elements of the set Y. Now, and then for the third part of B, it says, uh, I've, not got, I've not got much room, it says um, uh, use set notation to describe the, the relationship between the sets X and Y. Okay, now for this one, uh, what I've done is to draw a Venn diagram, even though the question does not require you to do that. Uh, I think it's easier to explain if I draw a Venn diagram. So for this Venn diagram, I'm going to start from this region here instead of the normal innermost region as we usually do. So I, I thought this would make a change. So if we call this region X, and we know that uh, the total number of elements in A, which is all of that, is 11. So, if that's X, it that means that uh, A intersection B will be 11 minus X. Again, we know that the total number of elements in B is 13. So because we've got 11 minus x there, so in this region, we're going to have 13 minus brackets open, 11 minus x brackets closed. So now, because we know that for a and b, the total number of elements for a and b is 18, we are now in a position to find to, to construct an equation. And that's what you got there. So in effect, when you open up these brackets here, you end up with this bit here. Okay, so simplifying, we then give us uh, that 13 plus x is equal to 18. So x has got a value of 5, which means that 11 minus 5 gives us 6 here. So the first one, uh, where we are required to find uh, the number of elements in A intersection B, the answer should be 6. Moving on, now for part B, um, part B1, for set X, we have theta values, and theta values are, are such that the sine of theta is minus 0 0.5. Okay, now if you remember, and I've done this quite a few times already, if you've got a right angle triangle, as this one here, and if this is the, 
the square root of 3, this line here is square root of 3, this line is 1, and this line is 2, and that's right, right angle triangle. Now, this angle here will be, the sign of this angle will be 1 divided by 2, and this angle here is pi over 6. So the principal angle is pi over 6. Now, we know that the sign of theta is, has got a negative value, which suggests to us that the, 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 value, the values we're looking for would be in the third and fourth quadrants, because the sign of theta is minus, it's, negative, it's got a negative value. So we expect uh, the first angle to be this one, and the next angle would be uh, this one here, to be this one. So this angle in red will be pi plus 6, sorry, pi plus pi over 6, and the angle in blue will be 2 pi minus the principal angle there. So we end up with uh, insert x, that the angles we're looking for will be, will be 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. Now, for set y, we are told that 6 squared theta is equal to 4 over 3. If we now take the square roots of both sides, we end up with sec theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 divided by the square root of 3, which then gives us 4, sorry, which then gives us 2 over root 3, as we got there, plus or minus that is. Okay? Now, and we know that uh, one of our cos theta is uh, plus or minus uh, 2 over root 3, because we know that uh, sec theta is 1 over cos theta, is the same as 1 over cos theta. If now in red, we end up with cos theta is equal to minus or plus root 3 divided by 2. Again, because we're not allowed to use calculator, you should be able to, to know that in this case, the theta value is pi over 6, as I did in my last triangle. So, we expect, because this is minus, this is minus and plus, we expect theta values to be in all four quadrants. So the first one is pi over 6, the principal angle, and then 11 minus pi over 6, and then 11 plus pi over 6, and finally, 2 pi, minus pi over 6. So for set y, we get all these angles there. And in set x, we've got just two angles. Now to explain this properly, if we then draw a Venn diagram, such as this one here, now we can actually draw a, 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 another this diagram in a different format, so we can draw, we can do, we can express a Venn diagram like that. So what's in here will be what's common to x and y. So in other, in other words, 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 will be in here. Okay? It doesn't matter which way you do it. So now, because this 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 is common to both sets x and set y. Therefore, they be within here. Okay? Which that means that the remaining uh, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 will be outside x as we got there. So that will be 5 pi over 6 and pi over 6 would be outside x set, x set. So now, it says use set notation to describe the, the relationship between sets x and y. Now the first thing you can see here is that x intersection uh, y will be the same as x because that's common to both x and y. So x 
inter intersection y is the same as x. Similarly, x union y, all of that together, x union y will give us the value of y. We can also say that x is a subset of y. Now, I've not put an equal sign here because it cannot say that y is also a subset of x. It can't say that. But this is certainly um, x is a subset of y. But instead of saying a subset of y, I can say that x is a proper set of y. Now we can also that y we can also say that y is a superset of x. We cannot put that. So and I hope uh, you subscribe and have a look at some some more videos of mine. And I hope all that made some sense. Thank you for watching and bye bye now. Bye bye.